This is a combustion reaction. We have a hydrocarbon plus oxygen and we get carbon dioxide and water. So let's balance this reaction by counting the atoms up and then seeing how we can make them equal. We have two carbons, two hydrogens, and four oxygens. But don't forget these two oxygens here. We need to count that as, as well. That gives us six total oxygens on the reactant side of the equation. On the product side, we have one carbon, two hydrogens, and two oxygens. And again, we have an oxygen out here. We need to count that as well. That gives us three oxygen atoms. Let's see, why don't we try to balance the carbons first? We'll leave the oxygens till last. We have two carbons here and just one over here. So we could put a two in front of the CO2, one times two, that'll give us two carbons. So those are balanced, but we do need to update our oxygens because this two, it applies to everything. So now we have two times two, that's four, plus we have one oxygen here. That gives us five oxygens. So we have a bit of a problem here. We have five here and six here. Everything else is the same. So we do need to balance these oxygens. If we put a two here in front of the H2O, that would mean two times two is four plus two times one is six. So let's update the oxygens. Two times two is four plus two times the one is two. So now we have six oxygens, but for our hydrogens, we have two times two. That gives us four. So now it looks like we could go back over and we're going to have to put a two in front of the C2H2O4. Okay, so let's update these numbers. Two times two, that gives us four. Two times two, that gives us four. Let's update the oxygens. Two times four, that's eight plus two. That gives us 10 oxygen atoms. So let's update the carbon here. Let's balance the carbon and see if that fixes the oxygen. So instead of two, I'll put a four in front of the CO2. In front of the CO2, one times four, that's four. We've balanced the carbons. And then two times four is eight. And one times two, that's two. And that gives us 10. And this equation is balanced. It takes a little bit of work. We've had to update things a few times, but these are the correct coefficients for C2H2O4 plus O2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.